Hey everybody, the Super Vader 400 here, back for another retro review, and this time, this is my short review and overview of both of the Power Rangers movies, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie released in June of 1995, and of course the Power, the Turbo, a Power Rangers movie released in 1997. At least in 1997. Thanks to Put Locker, I got to watch both of these awesome movies. Um, again, I remember seeing the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger back when it released in 1995, and I <laughs> and I loved it. And I watched it again several years ago, and I just recently watched it again, and I've recently watched it several more times to confirm that it's still awesome and good today. And in my opinion, one of the best superhero films of all time. I would even put it above the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe movies of um, today. Some of the Cinematic Universe movies of today. Next is um, Power Rangers um, Turbo, a Power Rangers movie, which I remember. I, I can't remember if I saw that film back in 97, but I definitely do remember several aspects of this film. The plot, I mean, I mean the, the costumes, the props, and the tokusatsu footage and I definitely remember bits and pieces of the Turbo C's series. When Turbo arrived I was starting to get out of Power Rangers at that point and was more into um was more into animation. <sighs> was more into animation. I briefly got back into it in the early 2000s before losing interest before in the early to mid 2000s before briefly lose, losing interest Again, when Fox acquired the when Disney acquired the rights to uh, Power Rangers, and they went to Disney XD or, did, or um, Jetix for their final um, seasons up until Nickelodeon reacquired the rights, then I became reinterested. But um, I definitely, re uh, but um, I definitely remember aspects of this film. And I finally got to watch the film today, and I was once again injected with a needle of nostalgia. And this film is pretty good, despite the negative receptions. There are problems. But I felt this was still a pretty cool superhero uh, movie. Um, let's start off with the original, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I think Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as a film, as a structured film, was much better than the sequel, Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. I thought Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was better. The one thing I loved about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is um, one of the things I've always, one of the things I and still do hate this today, one of the things I always hated about Power Rangers and still hate it today. Power Rangers is adapted from the Japanese Super Sentai footage. So they take the footage and they mix it with with English actors and while it looks cool in some scenes it looks just downright hokey and just just terrible, just just terrible. Just um t just um just um terrible. It would be real cool if the um it would be it would have always been cool if the people making the adapting the Super Sentai series would have got not only got the costumes not only got the costumes but also got um also got also got their own um also got their own uh, Megazords also got their own um CG, CGI budget to create their own Megazords and their own costumes and put English speaking actors in the um costumes in the Super Sentai series, they take the English actors and they dub over the Sentai footage with English speaking actors and it's pretty much CGI their face onto the Japanese uh, footage. That's what they do. It would be much better the um, other way I just described with them creating with them creating all their stuff from um, scratch, only just adapting it from Super Sentai. But like I said, um, yeah, this series right, this movie right here was awesome. This was a comedy-driven, comedy-driven science fiction, action adventure superhero Tokusatsu, Tokusatsu film. I love Tokusatsu um films and series, and um, it was awesome. And like I said, this movie did that. This movie had not only updated costumes, but this film had a budget. This film had cool 3D CG-like models for the um for the Megazord um for the uh, Megazord battles. For the Megazord battles, they like to say that cool '90s PlayStation 3D graphics, which, in my opinion, still holds up. It looks cool today. It looks better than the graphics, in my opinion. In this film, looks better than a lot of the modern day films of today, like the garbage, amazing Spider-Man movies. But um, yeah, and of course, as always, the Power Rangers, awesome martial arts, 
awesome martial arts um um cast did a wonderful job cast did a wonderful job and um yeah only thing i do not like about this awesome movie is the fact as i got i when i was when i used when i was a kid and saw this film i thought this was an um op, uh opening an intro to season to, to the power ranger zeo series i thought this was a prequel to the power ranger zeo series the character asian asian campbell the character um asia campbell i confuse her with um i confuse her and tanya who would later replace her in the um in the power in the um season i think season three of power rangers in season three of power rangers and of course the zeo series I used to confuse both of those actors um together. I used to confuse both of those um actors um together. So I thought this was a prequel to Zeo when it's no, it's an alternate opening to the third season of um Power Rangers and it's set in its own universe because it also has um what's that pig warrior? It also has a specific pig warrior and I think named Morchant something like Mordant, something like that. It has a a pig warrior who wasn't in the cartoons. He was created ex exclusively for the film, just like the main antagonist. Ivan Ooze, who I think is one of the coolest and most badass villains of all time. Ivan Ooze and his foot soldiers, the putty, the Ooze men, I think that the, the Ooze soldiers, I think, I keep forgetting what they were called. But those characters were created for the film with, of course, Rita, with Rita and Goldar returning. With Rita and Goldar um, returning to this, um, returning from um, this film. But it's set in its own um, universe. It's an adaptation of the series and not set within the series. So that was the only disappointment I had. I also loved the soundtrack. It had a cool orchestrated remix of the the long version of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers um theme, a softer, a softer, um a softer version versus the heavy aggressive metal version from the series. Then of course, um it had um several other songs. I think Kung Fu Fighting also appears here, and of course, Dreams by Eddie Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen, so like I said, um, just an awesome, fun, superhero toka, tokusatsu, um, tokusatsu, um, movie, man, tokusatsu movie, man, oh, man, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm rewatching it again for another review, this was another short, um, overview of the franchise, then, of course, you got, um, Power Rangers, um, you got Power Rangers, um, Then you also have um what's the next one? Oh yes, um Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. Turbo, a Power Rangers um Turbo, a Power Rangers um film. Um so this is the see this was um this is even though this is grouped together with Mighty Morph and Power Rangers the movie, it's not really a sequel to Power Rangers movie. It's mostly a sequel to Power Rangers Zeo and a prequel to the Turbo series. This movie bridges the gap between and it leads right into Turbo, Turbo, um, the series. Well, I think the first film was better plot constructed, constructed. I thought this was better, was a better structured as a film. I thought this film was better plot wise. I thought this film better plot wise. The first one featured the Power Rangers, um, featured Ivan Ooze. Feature Rita Repulsa, um, Rita Repulsa and Laura Zed releasing Ivan Ooze from his ancient prison, and Ivan Ooze wreaking, wreaking um, havoc on the command center and severely, severely wounding and injuring, um, um, Zordon, causing the Power Rangers to lose their powers, and the Power Rangers now have to travel to the planet of Fatos to regain their powers to stop, um, Ivan Ooze, to stop Ivan Ooze. This one featured, um. Diva Talks wanting the, the 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 space power of Diva Talks wanting to summon one of her minions wanting to summon wanting to um use a, a, some alien the last the, the alien um and wanted to use him as a sacrifice for her um for her monstrous um minion while also um kidnapping Kimberly kidnapping and brainwashing Kimberly and of course um Jason and of course um Jason who made his return in this um series like and I, like I said I thought this this plot was kind of hard to follow in several scenes but I thought this plot was much better than the previous one I also love the the turbo theme which would later appear in the series and of course the shift into turbo gear performed by the band Fulji 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 Jai something like that 
shifting the turbo um, theme song and um the Sentai footage looks good however I hate the fact that they went back to the Japanese Sentai footage versus creating their own models from um, the first film but this film like I said this film right here was awesome man this film right here was um awesome and um and um and like I said, I think it's way better than what uh, people give it credit for. Turbo is widely considered the worst of the six series. While I do think Turbo has problems in the plot department, I still thought it was a good series. I love the whole, the whole Turbo Extreme feel thing. I like um, uh, Supercross, Motocross, Monster Trucks, Skateboarding, Biking, Skateboarding, Biking, Extreme Sports, Extreme Sports like that. So um, this this so this cool Turbo theme was cool and the megazords and cars and stuff and costumes were just awesome and I didn't mind a kid pretty much being a power ranger I remember as a kid I wanted to be a power ranger so you, I got the I got to live vicariously through this um kid right here as a child so um yeah this like I said this was an introduction and lead in into the um this was an introduction and lead in into the um other power ranger um the other um power ranger the other power ranger um this was an introduction and lead in until the um actually this was just a short overview of the uh, Power Rangers movies I'm gonna do another long review there's already a 2013 review of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie which aired on the um aired on the Encore Network the Encore um, channel on um television well, like I said this was uh, my short overview of both of the uh, Power Rangers movies alright um Go out.